Hey YouTube, uh, it's Matley again. I'm going to do another re uh, review for you, and uh, this time you're lucky to hear my. Well, you're not lucky. Uh, how arrogant is that? Um, uh, I I'm going to do a review on one of my top five favorite films, The Blues Brothers. Okay, and this isn't just the regular DVD of The Blues Brothers. This is a special edition DVD, so it's a double type uh, review, if you want to call it that. Um, now, why is this in my top five favourite films? Um, it's an amazing film. Um, it, I'll read you what it says on the back. And uh, it, after the release of Jake Blues, played by John Belushi from prison, he and brother Elwood, played by Dan Aykroyd, go to visit the orphanage where they were raised as not by nuns. They learn the church has stopped... Uh, that the church stopped its support and will sell the place unless tax on the property is paid within 11 days. The brothers decide to raise money by putting their ba their blues br ba uh, band back together and staging a big gig. They may be on a mission from God, but they're making enemies everywhere they go. Featuring performances from some of Blue's finest James Brown, Cab Calloway, Ray Charles, Aretha Franklin and co-starring John Candy, Carrie Fisher, Henry Gibson and Steve Lawrence. Now, first off, this has uh, two, uh, two of, um, versions of the film. It has uh, the original cinematic full release. And the uh, edited version. Personally, I prefer the cinematic release, the full version. Um, but it's a John Landis film. It's uh, amazing uh, shots of Chicago um, and uh, the surrounding areas. Um, some amazing cinematic shots in the film, full stop. Um, it's a musical, I don't know if you call, I personally don't know whether it is a musical or not, that's, that's a debate I've had with people before, but if it is a musical, it's one of the few musicals I actually like. Um, it's just a generally good, feel good film. Um, it's got some amazing um, actors and actresses in it, um, or actors in it. And they have you laughing, like, you just... I've watched this film, like, hundreds of times. And there are scenes in this film that still, to this day, <laughs> crease me up. I've got tears rolling down my eyes watching um, the movie. Like, you know, um, the if the people who are seeing this film, they'll know what I'm talking about. But there's a scene in it where uh, they go to see the head nun, the penguin, and... Um, you know, um, and she winds up caning the hell out of Jake and Elwood. And it's just hilarious the way that it's played out. Um, I'm not saying that, you know, being on the receiving end of a caning is funny. Um, depends on how it's pl played, I suppose. But um, I might do another um, review of this when I've got better editing equipment. Um so that I can actually edit some of the film into the the, the review. Um, but, yeah, it's just uh, so well played. And, you know, the, um, the only other film that comes anywhere near this, in my opinion, and it's... Um, is, is for making me want to, to even visit Chicago is uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Um, you know, and there are bits in this film where I don't want to go too much into detail to spoil it for you, but there's just so much in this film that makes it such a wonderful film. Um, you know, um, the the fact that they wind up getting chased by everybody from the police to Nazis to... Um, uh, redneck cowboy types, you know, the 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 the, the bond between these two men, um, the loyalty. I mean, I have a thing about loyalty. So, like all my top five films, funnily enough, in some way, shape, or form, have a reflection of loyalty. 
So, yeah. Um, but there is this lovely thing, like, um, about the, when they're in the car and they're driving and they're, you know, having these arguments. Um, and I don't know how much of that is acting and how much it isn't, because in one of the bonus features on DVD, somebody does actually mention how Dan Aykroyd has always been a massive uh, petrol head. He's a big mechanic who loves driving. Um, and how John Belushi would be driving around with Dan Aykroyd and be like the ultimate backseat driver. Um, so I don't know how much of the movie is them being them and how much of them is them being Dan, uh, Jake and Elwood. Um, and it's a wonderful introduction to the blues music um, because it has so many um, blues musicians in there, even ones that get um, a small... Um, tiny part in it like John Lee Hooker appears in it at one point um, you know um, and soul music now the reason I, I say this DVD particularly the special edition DVD is it is just crammed with bonus features like uh, introduction from Dan Aykroyd um, there's a, a documentary on there about John Belushi and um, how you know, people that knew him talk about him and how he was um, such a wonderful man to know. Um, they it, they talk about how Dan Aykroyd got John Belushi into blues music um, and, you know, just so much that it's a pleasure to watch, it's a pleasure to own and... Um, in my opinion... Definitely, definitely, definitely 10 out of 10. If I could rate it any higher, oh, I seriously fucking would. It is an amazing film to watch. Um, I'm aware that it's probably not going to be everybody's cup of tea. Um, but I will actually outright say, and I'll put this channel out, I challenge anyone to watch this film with me that's never seen it before. And in the two hours that this film is on, okay... I challenge them not to smile or outright laugh at any point in that film because it's impossible. It's that good a film. It's that. It is funny. It's the music is good. Um, the storyline is amazing. Uh, the, the directing is well. It's John Landis. What do you expect? He's uh, one of the top directors in the world, or was um, is was. I don't know. But he's, he should have made a film. So, yeah. Well worth watching, if you ask me. So, I'll leave it with that. Have a good uh, day, um, YouTube. So, bye for now.